This Airsoft Medicine video is brought to you by JF Paintball and Airsoft in Grass Valley, California and at www.jfpaintball.com. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Almost. What are you guys doing? I'm trying to get those into my mouth. Elite Force biodegradable BBs are biodegradable. That doesn't mean they're edible. No, not those. The breath mitts. Why? They taste good. Well, if you want to get those in your mouth, you have to take the Zanhedger Neodana off. It's meant to keep things out. Ah. Yeah. Enough of the silliness. Now a word from Dr. Airsoft. Dr. Airsoft for Airsoft Medicine talking about Zan Headgear products. They were kind enough to send me some products. So let's go over them one by one here. First of all, we will have the Balaclava Extreme. The Balaclava Extreme has something they call a Coolmax fabric that uh, is lightweight and breathable. And then of course it has the, the neoprene right across the face. The neoprene is kind of nice in that if you were to get hit by BBs, although I don't expect it could keep out BBs at close range, at least I, I think that it would be able to keep it from hurting so bad if it were to hit. The uh, rest of the product outside of the face has the Cool Max fabric and it's supposed to wick off moisture, kind of like your Under Armour type products. So that's a pretty nice feature. Another product that they have is the Bandana Cooler. The Bandana Cooler was on our uh, shot show video of the Zan Hedinger products and on it you can see the way that it starts to absorb the water and if you leave it in long enough this thing will hold uh, water for I've actually had it still thick on my bathroom counter when I was trying to get it to dry out for over a week it's a pretty neat product as far as being able to keep you uh, from getting overheated because it has this uh, ability to keep releasing the water. The next thing is the Motley Tube. Now the Motley Tube reminds me of the, uh, the Survivor buff. If you remember, you could wear all different ways. I don't know, maybe it's the exact same thing just made by another company. Uh, they say that you can wear as a skull cap, a face mask, a, a hair scarf, a wristband, a scarf, a hairband, a desert scarf, a balaclava, a neckerchief, a headband, a head wrap, a blindfold, a hair tie, and one of my favorite, we have the Neodana. The Neodana is like wearing a bandana ar around the lower face, except that it has the uh, neoprene insert for going over the mid face. I actually wear this quite a bit. When I'm riding my bicycle in cold weather, I will wear this for protecting me just uh, from the cold. And I'll have it on, goes on you know, like this, as you can see. Uh, it connects with the Velcro very easily behind the head. The one thing I found out about it is that uh, the little insert here for the nose, I would kind of expect that to be right at my nose, but the way it fits, at least on my face, it actually hits somewhere about in the uh, upper lip, but it, it works fine that way. And we have another product from Zan Headgear that I'm really excited about. This one doubles not only as a visor, but let's say you're at the county fair, or, or better yet, you're, you're chilling, in the, in the no fire zone, having a little snack, a little taco maybe, and then suddenly the urge to, uh, you know, use the facilities hits you, but you don't want to put the taco down because, you know, you got to have your hands free, you know what I'm saying? You can take this, you got a handy place to park your taco, handle business if you follow my drift, and wash your hands, you're back in business. No. No? Then we come down to their neck protector, Airsoft neck protector, just simply a, a, a cut piece of neoprene that goes around the neck, similar to the JT neoprene neck protector, except that it protects over the lower neck, over the thyroid area, to protect against hits lower on the body. And again, Zan Headgear is the company that has the lower face mask, neoprene lower face mask comes in all different colors and styles, as, as all of these products do. And this one, I did have a problem with it, even though I like the, the Neodana, the way it fits and covers my neck when I ride my bike. 
This one, I have a problem with it slipping down on the nose too much, even though the Neodano works better. The Zan Headgear products that are meant for going over the face are not adequate face protection to protect against close hits, and we have a video that shows that. As the ASTM develops its standard for airsoft field operators, you will find that they're not going to have products like these meet that requirement. But they do provide a degree of protection against the lighter hits, either from a further distance or from a lower muzzle velocity weapon. If you want to learn more about these products, you can go to zanheadgear.com. I encourage you to become a fan of Dr. Airsoft on Facebook, to follow us on Twitter, it's Airsoft Medicine, and to also subscribe to this channel on YouTube, which is Airsoft Medicine. If you have any questions or want to see one central place to learn all about our material, it's at airsoftmedicine.com. You can also get a link to our podcast there and you can subscribe to the podcast. Until next time, this is Dr. Airsoft saying, play safely. This Airsoft Medicine video was brought to you by JF Paintball and Airsoft in Grass Valley, California. Also found at www.jfpaintball.com.